Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is on Pray by the Neighbourhood. Uh, this came in as a request, actually it came in about four or five months ago and the same person has requested it a load of times so I thought I'd better finally do it for them. So thanks for the request, uh, I hope you enjoy it. And if you've got any requests, put them in the comments section down below and I'll try and do a video for you. Uh, don't forget to give me a like on the video. Uh, subscribing to the channel really helps me out, so please subscribe. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing these videos, and you want to print the tabs off for this, I've got a Patreon site. I've said it as cheaply as possible. Go and check that out. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. You can play this on an electric guitar or acoustic guitar. Any type of guitar will be fine. Uh, there's a little intro part that's really faint that you can hear at the beginning. Uh, then there's the verse riff, uh, the chords for the chorus, and then there's also a middle eight. So I'm going to teach you the whole song. So the intro sounds like this. So for that we've got, uh, I'm doing it finger style, it's probably the easiest way of playing it, using three different fingers to pluck the three different strings. And it plays E5, B6, and G7, and you're going to play E, B, G, and you do that four times like this. Uh, so slowly it's... and up speed. And then you're going to go to what is like a, a D shape, so you've got your second finger E7, third finger B8, first finger on G7, and same idea. And then you're going to go to all the fives, so E5, B5 and G5. I'm just putting my first finger flat across those. And then it goes down to fret 3 on the E string and B5 and G5, so bar 4. And then on the third hit, it's all fives and it jumps back to the 3. So you've got to watch out for that on bar 4, it goes. So the whole of the first line you've got. The next line starts the same. The next bar is slightly different. You've got eight on the E string and the B string, and then uh, G7. So you've got for the first two hits, then it goes to back to the seven on the E string. So bar six, you've got. Then into bar seven, you've got all the fives. And then in bar eight, you just play the fret three of the E string. And that's the whole of the intro. So let's just play the whole intro nice and slowly. We've got. Okay, so that's that little intro part, and then we get to the verse riff, which sounds like this. So for that, five, six, seven, same as like the intro part, and you're gonna go down, down, up, up, down. So down, down, up, up down, that's going into the next bar. Don't play the notes in the brackets, they're just held on from the previous bar, so you've got. And then we're going. Which is adding your little finger onto E8, then sliding it down to E7, then take it off, so your first finger's still there on fret five, so you've got. So they're the notes with the bracket and the three underneath it. So the first two bars slowly go. And then into the next bar, first finger across all the fives. And we've got down, down, up. So you've got. Then it goes to this where it says C. So you've got E3, B5, and G5. And it goes up, down, and then back to the fives. 
and then so you've got all fives and then three five five on the last hit so bars 11 and 12 go so the whole line slowly goes And the whole line up to speed. And that just repeats around the verse. And then we get the chorus, which sounds like this. So we've got an F chord, first finger barred across all the strings at the first fret, second finger on G2, third finger A3, little finger on D3. And the rhythm goes down, down, up, up, down, up. On that last up of the bar, we can just kind of take the hands off and go to the next chord so you can get like... and then it enables you to get to the D minor a bit uh, easier. So the D minor is your first finger E1, third finger on B3, and second finger on G2. Same rhythm, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then it goes to A minor, which is your first finger B1, second finger D2, third finger G2. Same rhythm in this bar goes down, down, up, up, down, up. And then in bar 16, you're going to go down, down, up, still on the A minor chord. And then it goes to a C chord. Which is your third finger A3, second finger G, uh, D2, and first finger on B1. So the only difference between A minor and C is your third finger. You just need to move that. And just two hits on the C chord. So the first line of the chorus goes like this. And the second line is almost the same, but the first two chords are around the other way. So it goes D minor first, and then F, then A minor, A minor, and then C, um, the C chords. So that line, uh, ignore the last A minor there for a second, we've got. And you'll notice above 20, it's got a one and a little line across it. So that's the first time bar. So we then repeat back round and play from the beginning of the chorus. So you play the F, the D minor, A minor, uh, the C, and then D minor, F, A minor. And then you skip out bar 20 and you just hold the A minor chord in bar 21. So that's called a second time bar. Um, so let's just play one time through of the chorus. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And then it would repeat those two lines, but then uh, on bar 20, instead of playing bar 20, you play bar 21, which is just an A minor chord. Um, and then it goes back to the verse, and then the chorus, and then there is a middle eight, which goes like this. So for that, we've got a G chord, which is E3. Uh, E3 nearest to your face, first finger on A2, hit the G chord, then the A minor chord, and then an F, and then there's like two bars of just playing it um, quavers. You just miss out the first uh, quaver in the second bar of that line, so it goes. So just loads of ups, uh, ups and downs. And then it does the same idea, but it goes G, A minor, to D minor. So hopefully that makes sense. So the middle eight goes. And that just repeats round 
uh, and then it goes back to the chorus of the song to finish. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that little guitar lesson, especially the person who requested it. Thanks for the request. Uh, if you've got any requests, put them in the comment section. Also, let me know where in the world you're watching this from. It's really interesting for me to hear that you guys are watching it all around the world. It's bizarre. Uh, give us a like on the video. Subscribing to the channel really does help me out, so please do that. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, keep me doing these videos. I've got a Patreon site where I'll put the tabs on there so you can print them out and loads of other songs. So go and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.